Please. Okay, my name is Niklas Gemfeldt. I came late due to that I have to take the bus via Ullared to Borås from Varberg. And that was a journey to see a little part of Sweden. No. So that's why I'm with it. I said, my name is Niklas Gemfeldt and I'm coming from Helsingborg and I'm independent today and I've been working 20 years with IKEA before I retired with product development and the business development. The last two years, um, as I'm interested in design, coming back to that, then I'm working now with planning uh, design journeys and uh, places with design. So I'm working with Helsingborg, I'm working with Möbelrik at Johan Sjöberg, if someone knows him, we talked about it here, we will make it trip to the different places in Möbelriket and Glasriket. A little bit also about England. Okay, the question was what is design? We come back to art, but what is design? Anyone here? Function. Mm? Form. Mm, form, function. Mm. Expression. Correct. And design is not only product design, it could be design of communication, it could be design of food, etc. But very simplified. I'm not a drawer, so therefore you will follow my very simplified drawings. If I make this, a little bit, what do you call this? A square. A square, yes. And I painted, I put it a frame around it and I painted with some colors into it and I put it on a wall. What do you call it then? If I put a frame. A picture. A picture. A painting, yes. But what do you call it with another name, what we discussed here? Art. A paint. Art. It's art. Then it's not very... When is it art? It has to be recognized. As the art by the art society. Yeah. Yes, okay. <laughs> but I come back to that later on. If I do it from the other side. This is a hard group. Mm, yes. <laughs> I've been working with many hard groups. I've done this all over the world with an education for upholstery within IKEA. What is this? If you have this here, it has a size, it has a measurement should be so, so thick, and here you have books, and you put that on that. What is this? This is called luck. Yes, it could be called luck or billy, if it's only part <laughs> of the billy. But you have something here, and shelf. you put something on it. What do you call this? A bookshelf. Shelf. A shelf, yes. Mm -hmm. But if it's only the shelf in itself, and you put books on it, it's not the it's book. Product. It's a product, yes. But if you compare it with art and put something here, you mentioned that word before. Design. No. Function. Yes, it's function. And if it's 100% function, it's also a shelf. It should be this size, this length, and it should be able to bury books. It's just a shelf, a piece of uh, wood. And it's 100% function. And if it's just a piece of paper painted on and put on the wall, then it's 100% art. But if you put those two together and you make something out with a function and taken from the art, then you make design. And design is also that it's multiplied, that you make more of it. Because if it's just one thing, then it's handicraft. So it's multiple application of it. Then you have design, then you have designed something which could be. If you have designed food, you make the same recipe several times. If you made a product, you make the same thing several times. But you take inspiration from here or here. Otherwise, it's 100% art or 100% function. But the bookshelf, when you do this and put in technology, and then you have here. What 
I'm putting in? Colors. Colors, yes. What is color? If you put it in connection with the sign. Anyone? Science. Science, yes, it could be science. No, I meant science, it, it sort of communicating. Yes, it's communicating, it's correct yeah. also. But this has two things common. There are two general things which you can say. It's always time. You can always measure a color into time, either the old ones when the new pigments came, or you put in, now it's this chair, very popular, which was popular in the beginning of the 70s also. You can Passion. follow it, and it goes out, and it comes up. Passion. And it's colored, culture. Trend. It, our trends, but it's more, in time, you can put it. Mm -hmm. Of course, I, I'll come back to the trends. But it's, it's in time, we can see, very often you can follow it. And I'm now with the university in Lund, and they have now in mood uh, sign, found out to say how you can follow the trends. Mm -hmm. Either it's one person stands up, I have found out the trends, or you can go backwards and say, this is the grammar for it. Mm -hmm. And, but it's culture also. In Sweden, we have this uh, fatherhood, mm -hmm. and during the war, when people came from Norway, from the grey houses, they went through the forest in Värmland, and when they saw a red house, they know that they were in Sweden. Or the English green MG. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And green MG. You have culture in the colors, yeah. and of, very often it's uh, colors from the flag. Green. You sell more red things in China yes, yes. due to this lucky color. German is more black. I say that. It's gray. Gray, yes. Mm -hmm. But it's, it's color, and also it comes back to um, what is designed for. Of course, we always say it's a need, that this need go backwards from the customer. But the customer doesn't, don't ask the customer what they need, because they then say more horses instead of cars. So, but you can see how the customer lives, etc. But it's a need, then coming back. But it's also a desire that you want something. No cosmetic is need, it's prestige, or other things into prestigious. Also, don't forget that. And I have this, when I put this in pictures, I have a very small IKEA palette for children can stand on. That's 100% design into that because it is very functional. You can stand on it, not sliding. Mm -hmm. and, but it's very much art and colors, uh, good, interesting colors. New technology, because you can put in technology up here also, coming into how you can produce this in combination. And then I finalize a little bit what you said with trends. Where are we coming from? Where is Sweden coming from versus Italy? Sweden, we are coming from the materials. We have the forest, we have the stone, the minerals. And we started, of course, to make tools out of the forest. Therefore, we have Bakko with uh, this uh, screw. Right, yeah. uh, yes, and we have lots of functional things, very much functional design. And then, of course, it has been fairs like Stockholm Fair, etc. But we are very much from the functional side. The opposite, Italy, they don't have any raw materials. Everything is imported. But what they have in culture, it was art. How many? Uh, church painter were educated in Sweden. <laughs> Is that big? Albertus Pinto? Was it Swedish? I think so. Yes, but to say it, it hasn't been the real tradition in church glasses uh, painting. But in Italy, that was very big in painting. And after the Second World War, then those came into the industry, which was down under, and together the industry and the painters or artists came in, and then they decided for a market which was United States. And then they focused on that way, and how to market, of course, with trends, etc., were developed in that case. So that's why the Italians built the best cars in the world? That could be a debate. They, they built 
<laughs> the most designed cars in the world. Huh? I've been working with leather for many years, in both in IKEA and so on. Of course, we're coming from this part in Sweden with natural leather, not much finish, etc. The Italians, they can't do the natural leather because they imported the cheapest hide, but they're making cosmetics. They are, say, painting them up, doing everything with fashion things, but you should not go too deep into materials because they are, say, experts in cosmetics. <laughs> And then when you talk about the cars, they make good cars, etc. But uh, with the German, I think you have a debate. Well, it's not much more. <laughs> <laughs> but to say it comes in, I should not put in all countries here, but we can put in UK, we can put in Germany, etc. Germany with Bauhaus making from industrial production, etc. So you can go this map. But is it a little bit clarifying what is the difference between art, art and design? Excuse me. Are oh, you understanding a little bit difference between art and design? Yes, I think so. I think so. But I must say something about the art, because <laughs> art is also a function, yeah. I would say, yes. intellectually yes. and mentally, of course, but also physically, you could have. Yes, sense. yes. So of, of course, you can be all, all the journey here. Then you're close yes. up to here. I have this very much uh, with furniture. Of course, Chellemo, and some of their furniture, you can sit on them, you can do a lot of things, but they are close to art. Other mm -hmm. furniture are much more here. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. So I would say, always when you do this, you have to work a little bit with the differences. Yes. So then you can always talk about, but art is a little bit also more singular and also taking out, it's more going in the, Front. Mm -hmm. but, but I think that I would say that also a big difference with difference between art and design is that design is focused on the user, yes, user needs. Yes, and, and yes. if you, if you work on art, it's it's and that's also one thing we we're, we're discussing and have been discussing during this uh, series of seminars mm. is that an artist might be inspired by somebody, but it's your. Mm -hmm piece of art, it's yes. your inspiration, mm -hmm. um, you don't give, you don't, uh, have, to think to you don't have to think about, about the user, you don't have to think about how the, how the person mm -hmm. watching your piece of art will react or something, no. it's, mm -hmm. it's not interesting, but you have to do that when you, mm -hmm. when you talk about design. That's, true. That's, that's important because here is the artist, mm -hmm. the important part, but a designer here must think about this. Yeah, what about um, Damien, someone like Damien Hirst, yeah. who's, who's reproducing his art, other people are actually making it, mm -hmm. and he's actually thinking about the consumer when yes. he's making the art, mm -hmm. um, whether it's half pig or you know, medicine cabinet or something. Is that art? Could be. Yes. Com <laughs> Commercialised. I met a guy from England now when I was on a cruise, I should finish with that. But he has RD, HORD, etc. and had a little bit of problem with computers, etc. But he had found, he was a painter, he said, and everyone asked if he was painting the walls or putting up wallpapers. But it was a guy that took care about him and he went around in England and to villages and he was drawing the part of the village, uh, let's say the background and uh, oh, sil silhouettes yeah. and then sunset. And then they printed that 150, 200 pieces and sold and then he kept the original for his pension insurance. <laughs> and then he went round in all, and then he was selling that, but he was commercialized. It was not so much new art, it was the same sunset, a little bit different silhouettes and then commercialize. So of course he has looked at the customer. So you are say, always in the gray zone sometimes. I would say that the entire production of Damien Hurst is the art, piece of art, not like the cow or the medicine pots. Like everything that he does is his mm -hmm. artwork. Like, mm -hmm. So it doesn't really have to be like a thing. It can be a thought. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But always, it, this was just yeah. one way to explain it. Mm -hmm. Then you can always jump around <laughs> in, it, <laughs> in everything. <laughs> but was it one answer to your question? Yes, sir. one answer. Yes, sir. 
Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. Does Daniel also 